Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news US consumers have shrugged off higher taxes to boost retail spending by 1.1% in February. Sales at American retailers climbed twice as much as forecast, and data for January was revised up too. Meanwhile, US business inventories in January rose by the most since May 2011, as data showed a jump of 1% following an upward revision of 0.3% in December. Both are signals the American economy is recovering, despite the federal budget stalemate. The Dow is holding on to its recent gains in midday trading, and both oil and gold have fallen on the day. In Europe, industrial production sank faster than expected in January, raising the risk that the long-awaited return to growth will be further delayed. A fall included Germany. Meanwhile, Ireland has successfully held its biggest bond sale since its near collapse of its financial system forced it to seek a bailout in 2010. Ireland's return to the international bond markets marks a rare success for the Eurozone in tackling its fiscal and banking crises. While others have faltered, the Irish government has stuck to its targets for cutting its budget deficit, while its economy is set to grow for a third straight year, although that's a bit, it'll be a modest growth. China is moving to focus more on inflation control, according to the central bank governor. He said China will be on high alert over rising prices after February's figures exceeded forecasts. And the Chinese government is limiting its gold holdings to 2% of its foreign, foreign exchange reserves. It's probably about at that limit now. It says the market is too small and if it raised its gold holdings that would push the price up and hurt Chinese consumers who want to buy the precious metal. Bernard Hickey will be reporting on the RBNZ rate decision at 9am today and the details of their monetary policy statement. No change is expected, but there will be intense interest on how Governor Wheeler is assessing the drought impact, the exchange rate, the boom in house prices, and now the clear growth in the domestic economy. The Kiwi dollar starts today basically unchanged against most currencies at 82.6 US cents, against the Aussie dollar it's 80.1 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 76.2. I'm David Chaston, and that was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.